Freddie, you just finished your first batting practice mm -hmm. out here. All right, this is where you're going to hit all your home runs, uh, right? So, this is right field. Hopefully some of them. Okay, how was it? Uh, it? Today it played like a hitter's park, which is new to me because certain field was such a pitcher's park, but my favorite thing is that number right there. Oh, 375. So that's about what, 15, 15 feet in? 15 feet shorter than uh, Turner Field, which is uh, a big difference for us hitters. So it's going to be very nice to be able to hit a ball 385 feet instead of getting caught for an out. It can be a home run this year. Okay, but wait, what about this? Because look at this wall. Well, this I, is about twice as high, twice Freddie, as, high, yes. as the right field wall yeah, so at that Turner Field. Means I need to be extra quick this year. So if I hit one off that, I can get the third base and get some triples this year. <laughs> that's but the strategy. That's the strategy. <laughs> the only thing is, it's going to be hits this year instead of outs when you hit the right. over here. So I'll take it. Right. Now, what's the batter's eye like? The batter's eye is, is really nice. You know, we got the the trees and it's really dark back there and it's big and that's what right? you need and uh, it, it looks really good we had the and we could see the ball perfectly today does this ballpark remind you of any other parks it, in the majors a lot to me so when i'm looking out from here to the home plate it kind of looks city fieldish to me uh right. you know it's 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 a lot closer than turner field too uh turner field was a little bit more relaxed and back and these it feels like the fans are going to have a not a lot more intimate experience here Right, it's almost like a bowl. Yeah, the fans yeah. Go. So it's, they're right. sitting right on top of you. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot cooler for them and uh, more more intimate. And you know, as you look around, and kind of, I, I kind of see Minnesota a little bit. I see Arizona yeah. with the restaurant in left field. You know, obviously mm -hmm. we got the chop house from Turner Field, and that's going right. to be. So people are going to have to pay attention because maybe uh, we'll be able to ruin some dinners and get some balls in there. In their you dinner. see something sailing in there on top yeah. of somebody's so, fillet. <laughs> someone's fillet might be going flying here, which would be a good thing. And I guess that would be good. A good story for them. So hopefully, uh, you know, there's a, I see about four or five different fields in here. So they, they said they went to a lot of different parks and kind of took the best things from them and they, they made it all in one and they did a great job. What kind of energy does it bring your team? Now, you guys, three losing seasons in yeah. a row, okay? This is a proud ball club and you've been here for 90 win seasons. Yes. So, does this give it some juice it, this it, year? I think uh, the great, good starting point was the last two months of last season. Uh, we played uh, really good baseball, and then obviously with the new stadium, it's uh, it just made everything that much better. We had spring training was even longer because of the WBC this year, but the energy and the excitement stayed throughout the camp. And you got to play in the WBC for Canada, yes, I did. right? Yes, Both I your did. parents Both from my Canada. Parents. It was a very special, special moment for uh, not only me but my whole family. Uh, obviously, my mother passed away when I was 10 years old of melanoma skin cancer, and uh, just to be able to represent her and her country, and also my dad's. Uh, it was a very special time when we played opened up with the Dominican on that Thursday night and the Canadian National Anthem played. It was a uh, pretty pretty emotional emotional and I, I just didn't know if I was gonna be able to like bring it back in, but when you step on the field you just wanted to play as well as you could and, and honor her and it was a special experience that I'll never forget. And of course you're a parent now. Mm -hmm. uh, one of your great memories at Turner Field, yeah. right? Yeah. You're you're waiting. Are you in the dugout when you find <laughs> out your wife's in labor? Uh, I was actually in the clubhouse okay. uh, when I ran up to change my contacts out because it was a little windy that day and I switched my contacts out and my head clubhouse guy Ben Acre had gotten a phone call that my wife was about four to five minutes apart in her contractions and I was like why haven't I been told this earlier <laughs> and this is the true story it was about the seventh inning and I was coming up I think the four, like fourth batter and my wife goes I'll be fine you'll I'm fine. You can go and hit, and then you can come home. I was like, you think I'm going to be able to concentrate? Um, so I, I ran down. I told Snit, and I was like, I got to go. And so I, I came home, and she was like three minutes apart, and we got to the hospital at like 11.15, and I was just trying to get out of there as fast as I could because, uh, you know, obviously that was my first, so that was a, a pretty cool thing. Okay, by the way, your wife is so cool, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? No, go ahead. Take your own Yeah, go ahead. Have fine. another one. Baby, baby will weigh. <laughs> baby will weigh. What's it like being a dad now? Uh, it's, it's probably the best thing in the world. It really is. You know, a lot of people told told me that it's going to this and that, and that when you experience it for the first time, it's, uh, it's a moment, and all the little... I got this. We had an off-season baby, so I got to spend every single second this off-season. So we got like the perfect baby. So that just means number two might be a little bit more rough. <laughs> yeah. You've been, you know what, the face of this franchise. Mm -hmm. You know, through through good times, through tough times. What is that responsibility been like? It, it, 
it's something that you know I've obviously grown into. You know, it's uh, I got put onto it at a young age. You know, Tipper retired uh, when I was 22 years old, and we still had Brian McCann, and then they left, and then a lot of trades happened started in 2014. And, right, lost uh, a lot of talent. A lot of talent, yep. and uh, I was the last one standing. So it was yep. um, definitely a different feel from when coming in. We were playoffs pretty much every single year, and then the last obviously three years have not gone our way, but. You know, when you rebuild a team, it usually takes five to six years, and what they've done in the front office has really turned this around in such a short amount of time that we have the number one farm system for two years in a row, and our product in the major leagues is a lot better now, and we should be competing for a, a playoff spot this year. So last year, Matt Kemp comes mm -hmm. in, and he's hitting right behind you. Yeah. That must you have been a welcome sight. My, yeah, yes. You can see the smile on my right? face. Right? That changed the dynamic it, it, for you, didn't it? It did. I think uh, uh, one, another big blow was losing Ender Enciarte in the first week of the season last year with a hamstring. It, was, it just kind of threw our lineup off, and then obviously getting Matt when we traded for him, that was a, a, a welcoming sight for guys that have been here for a couple of years, usually been trading guys away, and this time yes. we traded for a superstar in Matt Kemp. So, that was a special time than calling up Dansby Swanson, you know. Wait, so he grew up right near right here. Right And near he here. is yeah. like a, a future star, yes, right, in is. the making. So tell me, what are you seeing from this young man at uh, shortstop? He's going to hit two in our lineup and as a rookie, and that, mm. that's a tough task. Wow. And, you know, he's got he's the perfect man to be able to, to handle that situation. All right, what do you think the best way would be to christen this new ballpark this year for the Braves? Uh, a, a win and then a World Series win. A World Series when you are going like um, you're, you're going well. right there. You, you wouldn't be an athlete if you just said, "Oh, we want to win B500. We want to win the World <laughs> Series every single year." So uh, that would be a nice little cherry on top to a brand new stadium. And get to the playoffs yeah. first. Well, first right, you first get things there. first. First right. you got to get there, and then we can win the whole thing. So let's there get go. there first. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank Have you. a great Thank season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.